Hi everyone, this is Aaron, and today we're going to be comparing the media players on all of these different phones, and specifically I mean the music players. And so what we have here is the Palm Pre Plus, still not out of the running, they're updating it and coming out with new Palm Pre's. Uh, we have the iPhone 4, the Samsung Continuum, the Droid 2, and the HTC Surround. So we've got two Droid phones because they kind of do things a little bit differently. So let's get into the music. I'm using the same album. I'm not going to play any music due to copyrights. But since the Palm is still in the running, I figured I'd show you that. So here's the Palm Pre Plus. Let's go ahead and open the apps and go to music. It's a separate app. We'll wait for that to load. And for whatever reason, some of the albums didn't turn out right. But here we have our artist album songs, uh, genre, playlist. So let's go into uh, artists. And for this one, we're going to use An uh, Anne Berlin. We'll go in here and we'll use the album Cities. Why it didn't bring over the album art, I'm not sure. I was actually using Double Twist to do that. So let's go ahead and play Godspeed here. And it's playing. So now while it's playing, if I want to go to the next song, I swipe. I can go to the next song by hitting tap here. I can uh, repeat the song. Repeat one. Or that was repeat all. Repeat one. And back. I also have the ability to shuffle. And I can stop, start. And we have a list view up here. I'm not really going to go into this too much just because... The phone's have been out for a while, but figured I'd show you that. If I swipe up, it's still there, and I can open something else. When I want to go back to the media player, here it is. It's still playing, so we have this little media notifier here. Let me show you that quick. Uh, we'll go in here, and we have this media button down here showing what is playing down on the bottom. I can pause, fast forward, or, or I'm sorry, go to the next song. And that's it. We'll throw that off the screen. So that's the Palm Pre Plus. Let's move on to the iPhone 4 and we'll go into the iPod. So here's the iPod. Now on an iPod it's a little bit different. We have an iPod and we have videos so for music and videos. But let's go into here. You can see I already have Amberlin here with the album art. So here's the album art. Here are all the different songs. If I want to shuffle, here's my option to shuffle. We'll go back. And if I turn this on its side, we get the album art and we can go through all of our different albums. So we'll go back to Cities, we tap, it flips around, here's all of our songs, we tap, we play. If we are wanting to see the options, we'll switch back here. I'm not going to go into every little tiny detail we can rate and things. Um, I, I don't know that there's a ton to go into, but we have our Genius Playlist, playlist our Shuffle, and our Repeats here. If we want to fast forward, we drag. And here's one thing I do want to mention, though, that I find lacking on some of the others. If I want to fast forward, I can do that by holding here or advance next. I can also drag this bar. Now, the nice thing they've done with this is if I want to fast forward slowly to a part, I can. the further I pull my finger down, it'll say fine scrubbing. I move it up, half speed scrubbing, quarter speed scrubbing. I go fine scrubbing. So I, I can really narrow it down to the speed and, and where I want and the actual timing I want. That I find helpful for podcasts. And uh, forgive me for those that have advertising on their podcasts, but if I've heard the advertisement before, I skip it. Uh, if I haven't, I'll listen to it. So that's handy for that. Pause. And while it's playing, if I go into the normal mode, I can double tap, slide, and here's my options there. Pretty simple. That's the iPhone 4, or iPod, very similar. Now the reason we have two Droid phones, or Android phones, is because they handle media differently. The uh, Fascinate, and the Continuum, and the Galaxy Tab handle media similarly, uh, including with all the Galaxy S phones on different carriers. This is a Droid phone, it handles music a little bit differently. So let's go ahead and go into, let's unlock the phone, and go into music. So to do that on this phone, we go into Applications, and we slide over till we find our music player. There's our music player. It takes a moment to come up. Now this actually isn't the artist I want, so we will go back to list. <clears throat> and here are all of our different albums. We have all playlists, albums, and artists. So let's go to albums, artists. Well, in this case, we want Anne Berlin. And since this has a dual display, it shows the information down on the bottom. 
So let's go into, um, oh, I guess uh, here's Cities. We'll play Godspeed. Why I don't have the album art here, I'm not sure, but I don't. So here we can um, tap and scrub here, too. Now, it doesn't have the slowdown scrub, but it is very accurate. And we can go to the end. We can go to uh, random, rather. And we can repeat. Repeat all. So some nice options there. Let's go to the next song. <clears throat> now, to show you the album art, I think I'm going to go back to list. And we'll play the other album, Blue Part, uh, Blueprints for the Black Market. So now it's playing. And if I go back home is actually showing the album art down here, your playlist. And the nice thing is while it's playing, it shows up here in your uh, notification bar as well. So you have your, your fast forward, your next option, your play and pause. And if you want to go into the album, you just tap it, it opens up nice and quick. We also have 5.1, we can do uh, for surround, even if it's supported or not, kind of mo uh, mirrors that. We also have our speaker volume there as opposed to a rocker. So really nice, easy way. List, again, we can go back. Albums, artists. Pretty nice, pretty quick, and uh, works well. Let's go back to uh, home. Getting confused with the buttons. And to close that, we can go to the task manager and just end it. Or leave it alone, pause. Either way is fine. So let's go into the droid. This is the droid 2. And there we go. We'll bring up music. <clears throat> And here's music. This is consistent across the droids, droid pro, that sort of thing. And here we have Anne Berlin, Thousand Foot Crutch, uh, albums, songs, playlists, very similar to the other Android phone. However, let's go in and play Anne Berlin. Actually, let's go back because I want to show you the album art. Yep. Now we'll go back home, and you can hold and go into music. Let's go into Thousand Foot Crutch. There's Welcome to the Masquerade. We tap, and you see the album art behind there. That's kind of nice. Let's go into uh, Welcome to the Masquerade. And this one is actually playing some uh, visualizations, which is kind of nice. It's a little bit different and uh, not quite as expected as what you'd think on an Android phone. But with a 1 gigahertz processor, it has that capability. Here we have our repeat options. We have our shuffle options. We can go back to list view, play another song, and wait for it. Come on. Well, go back. And here we have our scrub bar. And it just slides real quickly. And that works nice. Uh, Palm Pre is lacking in that way. I'm not really sure why. But <clears throat> there's other music players out there that you can download too. And if you don't like this music player, there's other music players on Android. And that's one of the nice things over, say, an iPhone. Uh, most people probably like the iPod on that, but if you didn't, uh, it's real easy to get a new one on this. It's a little bit more difficult on the iPhone. So here's your view. We'll go back home, and while this is playing, it's also in your notifications, but it doesn't show your album artwork. So if you're big into the album artwork, you may want to check somewhere else. If not, it works pretty nice. The visualizations are kind of neat. Uh, there we go. Well, now we have the album art. Uh, let's see. Oh, if we pinch goes back to visualizations, pin, uh, pinch out, goes back to album art. So whatever you like, it works nicely. And uh, that's that. Let's go back home. We'll leave that for now. Although those visual visualizations may kill your battery on your phone. So here we have Windows Phone 7. And there's Anne Berlin, actual some album art right there in the screen. That's pretty nice. I have to say, visually, I like this this uh, OS the best as far as music goes. Uh, ease of use, it's up in the air. But uh, visually, it's really nice what they've gotten here. So here's the media player. This is the Zune. If you're familiar with Zune right now, this is going to be very familiar to you. So if we go in here and tap, here's the actual music. We can. Uh, it's actually playing right now, uh, and there's the status of it right here. If we want to go to the next song, we can either tap here or back or pause. We can hold the fast forward. We're going to go to the next song. We just swipe, swipe, we're in. Um, if we want to go to the rest of the songs, we can tap down here, and there's all the different songs. Now it's playing that song. Uh, if we want more info, uh, oh, we have to go back, rather. If we want more info on that music, darn it, it's a little harder to navigate than uh, I'd like. I, I have to be honest with you on that. Uh, as much as I like the visualization stuff, uh, if I want to see album information, that's more inclusive in the marketplace because it's a subscription service. Bill, <laughs> I'm 
having some issues here. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So we have our music, video, podcast, radio all built in in your, our marketplace. If I go to our music, here's in Berlin. There's our albums, and we go into them. Now, if you're in the marketplace, you can get all sorts of information on them, bios and things, and that's built right into the music player, which is nice. And uh, that's really it. I mean, you just swipe to go back and hit back, and you're in this uh UI and you have your oh there it is that's the information I'm looking for so a little bit complicated uh, honestly I use this a lot and it's just I sometimes find it a little awkward because you got to swipe so many times but here's the bio of them here's their albums here's your songs and everything is swipe at the top you want to go into a song you play like that now the actual player on the home your home and you want to get into that quick you hit the volume rocker button and here you have your forward back pause you can do that while it's locked also just just hit that button and you can raise the volume but when you're in this screen it shows up here as well and so you can easily go into your music and do that or you can go in with a nice visualizations um, that's pretty much it though I mean they're all pretty decent music players uh, I would say with the exception of the Palm Pre that kind of falls flat for me uh, I've used these phones extensively even the palm pre i've used for a week uh, music wise i have to say i still prefer the iphone for ease of use and quick access to things um, i'd have to say it's up in the air between these two i'll leave it up to you for what you like uh, but that's just my experience with using music a lot i listen to a lot of music a lot of podcasts and i find it to be an easier experience on the iphone for that especially podcasts um, Listen is a great app on on um, Android, though, for podcasts. It's a really nice app that uh, Google actually makes, Google Listen. Podcasts are a little bit more complicated on here. Uh, you actually have to go, you can go into podcasts, uh, but these are things I've synced. If you want to grab them on the go, you actually have to go and, and uh, download an app to do that. It's kind of a pain. Not horrible, but it's nice to have it all built into either a really nice app on here the, there's a subpar app on here. I think it's going to get better, but uh, or a really uh, a really nice integrated podcast thing on the iPhone. Again, it really depends on what you're doing and, and what you're looking for as far as um, use of media goes. But that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe we'll do videos on another time. But uh, as far as music, there's your choice. Uh, please continue to subscribe and please comment if you want to see something I didn't cover or ask a question. Please feel free to ask. Uh, if you might know by now, I answer or try to answer every single question that's asked of me. Uh, as I get more and more comments, that becomes more and more difficult, but I will try and get to you. Appreciate you watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.